tonight on Hip on the Spot News. The last update of 2022 has landed in DCS world. The Black Shark 3 is the only new model we get to explore for now. The Strike Eagle is still waiting for the lucky giveaway winner. And we wait for the Beyond video from ED for 2023. This and more on how I play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I'm Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to take a look at the latest developments in DCS world. So the race continues for the end of 2022. Talk about Rasbam Strike Eagle is calming down. We got more information on when to be hyped again. Alright, so the pre-order will be the first mark. A newsletter and then a ramp start video will anticipate the release. Or something like that. We will see. Well, until then, let the Strike Eagle take its time and we will focus on other things, like the currently released update for DCS World. We were prepared for it. I started to train in the Black Shark and as I was uh, relearning how to operate the beast, our fellow YouTuber Growling Sidewider released his preview video on the upgraded Shark 3. And then it happened, the final open beta update for 2022 in DCS World. And of course, this update includes the release of the Black Shark 3 upgrade, giving the already well-known KA-50 attack helicopter new features which expand the gameplay. With a missile warning system for warning about the launch of missiles at the helicopter, you will feel a bit more safer in the AO. The possibility of using air-to-air -air IGLA missiles has been implemented as well. So you will be able to take on other air units, but don't expect instant kills, as the warheads are very small. Take this example as George barely noticed the first connecting shots. No, 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 no. I'm gonna need some water here. Are you crazy? The Black Shark 3 features a realistic model of inertial navigation system which has the properties of a real one. It requires alignment before the flight and accumulates errors in time. The errors of INS coordinates can be fixed in flight by previously assigned landmarks as fixed points. It's great to hear this system being implemented. I gotta say, I went through the training course for it. I had a quick nap during the process, not my fault. I waited to get a certain message on the hood. That didn't happen. Nonetheless, good luck to everyone setting this up. It will definitely bring another dynamic to the battlefield. Moving on, of course, as most of the Black Shark owners already notice, with this upgrade, we are getting a new, more accurate and detailed 3D helicopter model. And check this out. The external model features removable hatches. Nice. So let's talk money. Uh, uh, sorry, bundles, uh, sales, upgrades. For those of you that already own the DCS Black Shark 2, you can upgrade to the Black Shark 3 for only $10. Until mid March 2023. Thereafter, the upgrade price will be increased to $20. The full price for this fantastic module is $70. We got mixed replies on this, and I get it. It didn't sit well with some of our users to see another paid upgrade for an older module. But if you are a rotor enthusiast and you already own this particular heli, you would be interested in grabbing the deal, instead of having two beers or a good coffee. So for us, of course, it was a quick buy. So before we continue with other changes brought by the last update of 2022 for DCS World, I want to remind you that our giveaway is still active until the end of January. Yes, many of you already know that we are preparing to give away one Strike Eagle module to one of our community members. As it is that time of the year, it's important to share the joy and make someone happy. If you want to participate, I will let you know how to before the video is ending. This is not a sponsorship, how I play considered to start a nice tradition for our community to embrace. Stay tuned for more information in this video. So moving on, the new update also brought the rise of the Persian Lion 2 campaign and improvements for the F-16C Viper, with the addition of the LAD bombing mode and a fix for the CCRP loft that would result in bombs landing short. Well, alongside many improvements and fixes for the Viper, they are working on a new pilot model, radar improvements, tail hook and alternate gear handle, ALR-56M improvements, DTC and new fuse logic. We can expect these improvements and additions in a future patch. For the Apache, we received a multi-target tracker that is still work in progress and so far it comes without synchronization for multi-crew. 
They added the performance page which is also work in progress and they fixed the incorrect SAS stones and hold behavior. They added the pilot and CPG first person view modules with animations. Look mom, I got hands and legs. George received new voice messages as pilot and CPG. They added a reaction to the main gear, it will collapse into the fuselage after a hard landing. So I need to note this one down. No more hard landing AC. Man, I was getting used to them. Pity. We got new liveries for the Korean Air Force, Egypt Air Force and Israeli livery created by Z-Tank. He is awesome. In addition to bug fixes, their ongoing work on the AA-64D includes improvements to the external module and the AGM-114L, COM and Detailing for longbow net support, flight model improvements and SCAS. They got also improvements for the IR signature and Robbie fuel tank option. All of this available in the future. And it is confirmed that the Apache is now available in the free trial program. Moving on, for the Hornet, they improved the speed gates for RWS based on norm and wide target radial velocities. They fixed the sea radar lock target not showing correct location on the HSI. And once again, ED lets us know that in addition to bug fixes, other ongoing work on the Hornet include a new pilot module, <laughs> surprise, surprise, radar performance improvements, improving the flight model and flight control system, and a new fuse logic. Good. Let's move on. For the Hind, they added the engine surge effect due to gas dynamics instability after rockets launch gases ingestion in engine intakes at low speeds. Petrovic! Please explain. Ah, uh, no problem. It's simple. We go down because rocket farted in engine intake. Very, very bad rocket. Maybe we need to change arms dealer? No, that won't be necessary. So this effect is dynamic, but generally takes as a rule that unguided rockets launch is safe at speeds more than 110 kph and depend on the rocket type and salvo amount. It's really cool to know that you could have issues like this if not paying attention. Petrovich AI now monitors space outside as discussed before in our videos. This is happening if he is not busy with the ocular sight. Or lighting cigar, tie my shoe, talk to Natasha, play poker online, drink vodka, prepare lunch, take nap, sharpen pencil, use toilet. I won't even ask. So once again Petrovich will warn about incoming fire or missile launches that are heading towards your aircraft. Just be ready to be more jumpy than ever before. Petrovich will also press the countermeasure dispense button. I hope he knows when to stop. The Hind also received quick start missions for the NTTR and Caucasus. But I cannot leave the country. We know Petrovich. We got it covered. Your cousin will be in Nevada waiting for us. He already asked for cigars and vodka. Uh, okay, but cigars will be easy, but I don't see you capable of smuggling a few vodka bottles. What do you mean? Uh, never mind. Natasha! And now it's time for our sponsor. VR Rock is offering something we deem right for our community. Blue light protection and specialized prescription lenses for your VR headsets. Yes, you heard me right. It's a problem I encountered ever since I started using my VR headset. My friends who wear prescription glasses couldn't enjoy flying in DCS as my headset couldn't safely fit without taking the glasses off. VR Rock will manufacture the lenses according to the prescription information you provide, fitting most VR headsets currently on the market and will ship it worldwide with the benefit of a tax-free policy. They also include non-prescription eye protection lenses. If you use our Hip Games discount code, you will receive 20% of any orders and support our channel in the process. Link is in the video description. For most World War II modules, we receive a new historical accurate belt options and a new 50 cal rounds and improvements to the damage model, plus the new cooling system model was integrated as well. For the Mirage 2000 by Rasbam Simulations, they added the TAF mission scripting arguments, a ground power unit sound alongside flight model improvements and new engine sounds. As discussed in the previous video, the Persian Gulf map by Eagle Dynamics got a real-time lightning technology to the majority of terrain buildings and vehicles, ships, billboards, free zone port plus a destruction model for the Abu Dhabi International Airport terminal alongside fixes and improvements. For the South Atlantic map by Rasbam, we receive a new refinery area at Puerto Sara, 
new airfields and some custom animated police cars for both the mainland and the Falkland variants with the emergency lightning, ambulances, more regional improvements and additions. They also completed the remaining objects for light migration of assets to 2.8 lightning standards, and a short mention lighting within hangars can now light into cockpits. With this update, we also received new graphics in the base sim, they added a bloom effect to night vision devices and an IR effect for old models. ED also got a new cover picture, a colorful eagle, let me know what you guys think about it. What does it mean? The MB339 got many new improvements and additions like the external 3D model UV mapping improvement and the static force and tamponing for nose wheel which is still work in progress and being investigated by the ED team. They added gun side depression tables to the kneeboard, a G structural overload sound effect and many new key bindings. Now about the promised major update from Heat Blur, it's here. For the Vigan, we received the standard AGM-65 Maverick Seeker that is able to lock buildings and map structures. That comes together with a fix for being unusable after jettison then rearm. The display polarity is now correctly calculated and the EP-13 sight brightness and contrast was adjusted for better visibility and at night and dusk we will definitely avoid melting our eyes. Thank you. They added the launch tone detection in RWR and the native PBR textures for almost all exterior textures, improving fidelity and detail and enabling more advanced livery creation. The overwing vapor and LERX effects are now present alongside improvements to the flight model. Beyond other fixes and improvements, we noticed some major corrections on the exterior artwork. We we'll link the list in the video description for a more detailed view. The Tomcat received wheel chocks, by default they will be on for cold starts so remember to ask the ground chief to remove them before trying to taxi. Now before we end this video, let's talk about the giveaway. One Strike Eagle is waiting for you parked in the hangar and let's go! All you need to do is to be subscribed to our channel, like our videos that we publish from now on, comment on them and you will be included in the January giveaway selection that will take place by the end of the month. Once a winner is chosen, we will post the results and you will be messaged in order to ship the Strike Eagle module for DCS World. Standalone or Steam, no problem. And that's it. We read all the messages and check every person that interacts with us until the end of January when we draw the results. We already have thousands of users that subscribed, liked our videos and commented on each and every one of them. And we are thankful for your kind words and feedback. We will continue to publish videos until the end of the year. We got our last add-on spotlight series for 2022, episode 3 of the Carrier Command series is about to be launched and of course our startup series will continue with the Black Shark 3 Cold and Dark Awakening. Thank you all for watching, if you want to support the channel you can use the thanks button on YouTube, check out our sponsor and share our content. Remember to leave us a like if you find our video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.